A honeybee dies a horrible death after being stung. The structure of the bee stinger prevents it from being pulled out after puncturing human skin without the bee self-amputating. The honeybee tears its lower abdomen while attempting to remove the stinger, leaving it implanted and dragging out a string of digestive tissue, muscle, glands, and a venom sac in its place. The end of the abdomen is left with a huge hole. In this video, we will be talking about why do bees die after stinging. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's start. Do bees die after they sting you? The only bee species that stings you and then dies is the honeybee. Because only female bees have stingers, of all species, only female bees may sting. When it feels threatened, a female honeybee is more likely to sting. The honeybee rarely stings when foraging among flowers away from the hive unless someone steps on it or treats it violently. Therefore, stinging female honeybees pass away while defending their hive. When they sting you, other stinging insects like wasps and hornets do not perish. Wasps and hornets can actually sting you several times. Even if you are not allergic, attacking swarms like this can be lethal. The well-known murder hornet is not extremely deadly to people, but it may quickly wipe out an entire honeybee hive. But bees don't have blood, said Eric Mewson of the University of California in Davis, so it's kind of like bleeding to death. Apiculturist is a fancy word for beekeeper, and mucin is one of them. It is false, transparent insect blood. According to mucin, the hollow pointed honeybee stinger resembles a hypodermic needle. It has two rows of lancets, or blades, with sawtooth edges. These blades have the appearance of barbed spears and point outward like harpoons. Bee stings cause the blades to alternately scissor together into your flesh. According to biologist and Bee Time Lessons from the Hive author Mark Winston. Once inserted, it functions and appears like a screw anchor, so the stinger cannot retract. A cell destructing toxin is injected into the opening by venom from a sac connected by muscles to the stinger. Worker bees are the colony's equivalent of disposable troops because they only have three jobs collect nectar, pollinate, and protect the nest. All of them are female infertile. All eggs are laid by the queen and the drones fertilize them. According to Winston, the queen bee only stings when competing with another queen for dominion. Furthermore, honeybees are more docile than hornets and wasps, who are noted for being aggressive and only attack when provoked. Musen added, A honeybee only gets you once, and it'll get you good. A wasp or a bumblebee can sting you repeatedly. Why do honeybees die when they sting? The stinger of a honeybee consists of two lancets with barbs. The bee cannot simply remove its stinger and continue on its way after stinging. A honeybee that stings you leaves behind its digestive tract, muscles, and nerves in addition to the stinger. The bee suffers a severe abdomen rupture and perishes. How does the bee benefit from this dismemberment? Well, the individual bee won't benefit from it, but it aids in hive protection. This is due to the fact that even after the bee is dead, its sting continues to assault you, perhaps keeping you away from the colony. The muscles of the detachable stinger are controlled by a group of nerve cells. The barbed shafts first advance and retract, penetrating your skin even further. Then, the muscle valves convey the poison to the wound by pumping it out of an associated venom sac. Even after the bee has died and vanished, this keeps going for a while. Although the bee's demise is tragic, and unpleasant for you as well, it is understandable in terms of evolution. The only way the hive-defending worker bees can ensure that their genes are carried forward is by defending the hive and the reproductive relatives inside because they are unable to reproduce. Removing the Stinger you should get rid of the stinger as soon as possible because it is still working and spewing venom into you. It doesn't matter how you do it, according to studies. You can attempt to flick, scrape, or pinch it off. Even a brief pause as you consider how to get rid of it can be detrimental. Beware of the swarm. A gland located close to the bee's sting chamber releases a cocktail of alarm pheromones when it stings you. The other bees in the hive are excited by these pheromones 
and they will open their mandibles, stick out their stingers, and sting anything that approaches them. Leaving Parts Behind Autotomy is the procedure of removing a body part, in this case, a portion of the abdomen, to serve as a sort of defense. When threatened, lizards drop their tails, and crabs leave their claws behind, among other instances from the animal realm. When is bee season? Depending on where you reside, different seasons apply to bees. It depends on the local climate and the time of year that flowers bloom. Temperatures below roughly 55 degrees Fahrenheit are unfavorable to bees. They typically stay inside their hives because it is sleeping weather. Early afternoon is when bees are most active, and they frequently appear when you're dining outside. You will appreciate the return of the crisp fall air if you suffer from apiphobia or a severe fear of bees. Why do bees sting? What motivates honeybees to launch an offensive in light of this? Or have they only misunderstood creatures with an inherent tendency toward aggression? According to Niger, a molecular biologist at Washington State University who has been studying bees for more than 20 years, honeybees are frightened when they are away from their hive and have nothing to defend. The only two important ways to induce a bee to sting you are either getting too close to its nest or snatching or squashing it so it has no chance to flee. Rather, another flying stinger may have tarnished the bee's reputation as a hostile creature. Wasps, which have a tendency to be bolder and more aggressive than bees, are really responsible for a considerable portion of bug stings that are attributed to bees, according to Nager. It's important to remember that not all members of the stinging bee species may really sting. As the stinger is actually a modified ovipositor or a tubular device through which a female insect lays her eggs, Ray, a doctorate student of molecular, cellular, and integrative biosciences at Penn State, noted, any stinging bee is going to be female. The average bee population has a female to male ratio of about 5 to 1, according to a 2019 study that was published in the journal PLOS One. Additionally, Female bees are happy to battle together as a group when necessary. A single female bee has the ability to call on her sisters for help if any perceived threat is too great for her to handle alone, according to Dr. Marley Iredale, a veterinarian at the University of Florida. Iredale explained in an email to Live Science how she accomplishes this. She achieves this by producing an alarm sense that her sisters perceive as a cue to defend the colony. An agitated honeybee colony can smell strongly of bananas since this pheromone in honeybees contains the chemical that gives bananas their ripe fragrance, isoamyl acetate. Are bee stings dangerous? Stings are typically uncomfortable and irritating for the majority of people, although they are not typically harmful. Nevertheless, bee stings can be lethal or extremely hazardous for those who have allergies, though rare. People who have severe allergies could pass away an hour after being stung, usually from anaphylaxis or respiratory failure. That's it, guys. After they sting you, do bees die? Only a honeybee stings you and dies. Only female bees possess stingers. The honeybee female perishes defending its home. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and families, and jot down your thoughts in the comment section below.